Hello, happy Chinese New Year, but not yet. Tonight we're gonna have a big Chinese New Year Eve dinner. Here are a few dishes I'm gonna make this year. You can make it too. I write it down, made a menu. Here's my menu here. When doctor here every morning, we're making fresh juice. This is the best. I don't sell bacon. Actually, it looks pretty good. Oh, I'm going to eat dinner. Oh, I'm going Morning. Today, make a big Chinese New Year dinner. All the dishes. There are a few steamed dishes, stir fry. Uh, also, chicken soup. Mm. Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. But I have to change. This shirt is really old from 2004. I still fit in. This was made in my hometown, China. New Year's Eve, we always have a huge meal with family. This year, menu is different from last year. <gasps> Don't have much time. Let's do this. I got a whole chicken this year with a head and feet. In China, we always keep the head and feet. When I moved here, 2005, I find a chicken in the supermarket. It's a headless and no feet. If you want to get those chicken, you have to go to Asian market. But the first step is you do need to do some manicure first. Cut off nails. I know to some of you, this might be scary, but the soup tastes better with every part of the chicken. You see this chicken fat I pulled out? That's the key to the chicken soup. This really get this delicious umami flavor from the chicken fat. You have to save this. Now the manicure is done. Now we put in the hot water just for a few minutes. After a few minutes, I just dump the water in the sink. Now I rinse the chicken, fill up the pot again, only add some ginger for now. So now we put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, then we turn it down to low cook for another three hours. We don't add the ginkgo nuts yet. I have them ready. We put it in later. Three hours later, otherwise they'll be really mush. And these are vacuum sealed, so you don't have to peel them. I'm gonna move on to the next one. So this dish is mei cai kou rou. Those are dried salted vegetables. So first, we are going to boil the pork belly, cut them in half. This is about 1,000 grams, a lot of kids. We are going to put the pork in cold water, then add green onions and ginger. Now we boil for 30 minutes. Now for the dried mustard green, I'm just putting in the cold water and wash them. Mmm, they have that fragrance. Even just open the bag, you can smell it. Next, you just need to chop some ginger, garlic, and xiaomi jiao. This is small red pepper, actually pretty spicy. So you should just need a, maybe four or five. If you like it hotter, you can add more. Now the pork belly is out of pot. I rub outside with some soy sauce, get nice color all over, top and bottom. Gentle massage. Little bit of cooking oil, skin side down first. <laughs> so put the cover on and then pull a lower heat. Otherwise, the fat splatter everywhere. Get this little bit golden brown outside and then they are ready. Oh, almost done. See? My shield. Now you see that golden color while slicing them. Oh, it's so crispy outside and still soft pink inside. After done slicing, next we make the sauce. This is a dark soy sauce, light soy sauce with the ginger and cooking wine. Oyster sauce, tiny bit of sugar and salt. 
Mix it together, then you are ready to pour in. Here is the sauce we just made. Now pour all over your pork. Pork is all soaked in. Now we put the ginger, garlic, and some star anise, and the bay leaves with mustard, the vegetable. Get the fragrance out. This is ready. So next step is gonna put everything in a bowl and put it in the steamer. Next, we're making steam the shrimp and mung bean noodles. Very easy. First, we're gonna make the sauce. Some ginger, those are fresh one. If you like extra spicy, also gives it this pop-up color. Really looks like a new year. Of course, add a nominally delicious cooking bomb chili sauce. There's black fermented beans in here. Our jintiao chili pepper. Also, most importantly, Sichuan peppercorn. This is not for everyone, but if you love Sichuan peppercorn, authentic Sichuan flavor, this is for you. If you got my sauce, please let me know. Tag me in your video. Let me know how do you like it. Just Chinese soy sauce, little bit of oyster sauce, and sugar, and salt. This is mung bean noodles. Soak on the side about 10 minutes. Now, first layer is lay them on the bottom of the plate. Now, arrange the shrimp on top of mung bean noodles. Any shape you like. Scoop out the cooking bomb chili sauce mixture on top of the shrimp. Some of the drizzle down to the noodles. After you steam this, the sauce gonna get in deep, deep in every noodle and every shrimp. Look at this machine. I just got this new steamer. But you can steam all these dishes with regular steamer on the stove. But this, is so I'm putting the shrimp here, pork on here. Look at that. This is gonna steam longer. So 40 minutes to an hour. Depends on how powerful your steamer is. Let's go and make the uh, next one. I have another steamed dish. It's a dessert. Bubble fan. It's a steamed sticky rice dessert. You have to soak the sticky rice overnight so it's soft enough. You can just use your finger, mash the rice. First, get a bowl, put some oil. So this will be easy to take it out. Brush the oil in the bottom of the bowl. In China, we eat a lot in the soup, in the sweet soup a lot is those dates. Also, you, you can use those dates to make tea. Really good for your skin. Anyone over 30, 40, and keep your beauty. Chinese medicine says good for your circulation, your blood. So you always have a little bit of blush on your face, even getting older. So I put the bottom, the dried grapes, pu tao gan, and this red goji berry. Good for your health. So this is not only a dessert, also Chinese medicine. Soaked sticky rice on the dates and those fruit. You can also add some nuts too if you like. One layer of rice, pat it down a little tight. This is a special sugar. What do you call it in English? It's not really brown sugar. I say it's like molasses. Look at how dark this is. A lot of women, after having babies, this is what we eat in the first months with this sugar. Really recover your body. So one layer of this. Feel free to add more dry grapes and uh, goji berry, or maybe some nuts. Another layer of rice. Sticky rice, or we call this sweet rice. We're gonna fill the bowl, probably about 80%. On the top, we're gonna another layer of this red sugar. Just on top. Last layer, add some water, just enough to cover the rice. Just over the rice. Now we're ready, put in the steamer. 50 minutes, 50, then dessert's ready. So while I'm steaming, I'm making next dish. But this dish looks like one long piece of a fortune, like a gold. This is a golden meat roll. Let's make the money. We make the roll, then we slice them. They look like a coin. Here, I got some ground pork, some chopped ginger, green onions, Chinese cooking wine, this Chinese soy sauce, one egg, bean starch, or you can use cornstarch. Now one direction. So the ground pork turned out smoother. Sprinkle some salt, your favorite chicken powder, or MSG. Get some umami flavor. So now we're gonna make egg wrapper. For the one egg wrapper, so two eggs, cornstarch water in, and we keep mixing. Now we get the pan, make the wrapper. Brush your thin layer of oil, then pour the eggs in. After the eggs set a little, and flip, cook on the other side. Now I've got the egg wrapper. Let's put on hot. 
Now we need to brush a layer of the bean starch water or corn starch water so they can stick on the wrapper. Now put the ground pork on the top. Let's lay them out evenly. Gentle massage. We're making a golden meat roll. Now we start rolling. Oh, look at this. Golden. Put it on a plate. Now we steam it for 20 minutes. Then we slice them. And cooking bun, chili sauce for dipping. Now we move on. I make the fish the last one because when you fry the fish, if you don't eat it right away, it's not crispy anymore. This fish is huge. Let me show you. This is probably the biggest fish I will ever cook. <laughs> I picked it from Asian market with live fish. Look at the tank. It doesn't look that big. I thought maybe the tank is like magnified glass. When he take it out, even bigger. It's like five pounds. Okay. I will try if this is gonna even fit in my wok. First, you're gonna cut some lines on here on the bottom of the head. Then second cut, then cut all the way to the tail. Flip the other side. Now we we'll marinate this giant monster fish. Oh, cooking wine, ginger, and green onions. Little bit of salt on both sides. White pepper. Little ginger green onion massage. Then we're making the, the cornstarch water in Chinese called Tang Liu Fen Jiang. Four parts of cornstarch or bean starch. Four spoons. I have a huge fish. And one spoon, just regular flour or mix. Water. Just kind of like very liquidish breading outside the fish. When you fry it, very crunchy skin. Raise your hands. Look at this consistency. Look like a liquidish yogurt. This is perfect. But we still need to add oil. Now we're gonna put the fish all over this yogurtish breading. This fish is huge, it's so heavy. I need my husband's help. And you know, my broken tennis elbow can't even lift the walk. Are you gonna flip? Professional fish cooker. Next, I'm making oh, the sweet it. and sour oh, sauce. It. Stir fry the ginger and garlic first. Then we add Chinese vinegar. My grandma vinegar. used to pour the vinegar into very hot wok. Get the steam all over home. When someone's sick, like me, uh, sanitizes your room. I think it worked. But this is the sauce. We also have sugar, green onions. Look at this fragrance. In the end, add some cornstarch Thicken the sauce. Oh, this really smells so good. Most important thing, pour over a little hot oil. Let the sauce bubbling in the oil. Get the fragrance out even more. Then you can pour over the fish. Then garnish with some green onions. So now we're gonna flip some dishes. Look at this. Mei Cai Kou Rou. When you serve, you flip over. Put another plate on top. Ready to flip. Say one, two, three. So now, we're gonna open this. Oh, the juice come out. Look at this. <gasps> wow, perfect. Wow, that smells so good. Look at this, perfect. Let's flip on this blue plate. See if this is gonna come out. Perfect. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it's too sticky, right? Hot. Oh, how's that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not bad, not bad. This one looks pretty good, right? Yeah. There's the shrimp. Fish. Right? This is the meat cut meat. Yes, picture, picture. My phone. Happy New Year. I can teach you how to open this. Oh, you can teach you how to open this marble soda. Take rid of the plastic. This one. Yeah. Put this right here and like open it right here. Oh, you did it! Congratulations. <laughs> Fish is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cook through. Oh. Eating the oh. fish. Oh, oh. Is this your salt? Yeah. Oh, it's 
This is my sauce. Happy Chinese New Year, huh? You have to open the pot. You have to open the pot. Okay. 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 Tomorrow? Oh. Ask her if it's not right. Hi, Mommy. Do you hear it? What do you think Chinese dessert? This is good. Yeah, and you like this? I want to try the ba bao fan. Uh, mm. It's good, yeah, sweet yeah. but not too sweet. So Chinese dessert made out of rice and beans. Rice and beans is dessert <laughs> in China. Where? 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 Why is it so hard to open? Because they put this really sticky tape on it. And the you egg is hard to open. What is this? It's gold! You'll make a lot of good fortune this year. What's that face? Not bad. Not terrible. <laughs> You talk how can you share? Can you show chocolate? Can you can you can you can you can you can can you can you can you one diesel dragon. So I have it. So you knew born the year of dragon. Actually, it's not a good year for you. You need to wear red underwear, red socks, or maybe red something like this. Yet if it's your year. I'm wearing red right now. Yeah, wear something red when you go lock. Otherwise, it's bad. Bad luck. Hopefully, everyone have a great year of dragon.